Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Thursday on FIFA 22. Foot Captains is almost over and we're still sitting here not knowing the answer to the question, what is next? What promo is going to fill the void between the end of Foot Captains tomorrow and Team of the Season starting next week on the 29th? Now, what I'm going to do today in today's video is kind of do a little bit of speculating what could we see? We started to talk about it yesterday just a little bit. Some sort of a TOTS warm-up promo, TOTS warm-up series, pre-team of the season series. I think that is the direction that EA might end up going. And today we might even learn about that from EA Sports if they drop a loading screen. So I want to talk about that today. Other potential content they could run in the next couple of days, especially this weekend, uh, as more TOTS voting is going to go on, uh, as Premier League TOTS voting starts tomorrow as well. And just what EA could do to fill this one week gap in between captains and the start of the ever, ever anticipated team of the season promo. I also want to take a look at these foot captains cards as they are about to leave packs because a lot of them have dropped in price after lightning rounds yesterday. Could some of these guys make a quick bounce uh, before they... Uh, you know, maybe ooh, 300k for Busquets. I will take that. No problem. I think they're even running lightning rounds right now. So Busquets is down like 70k on the day. And a lot of the other foot captains are down as well. And I think they might have a short kickback later on this weekend if people are going to go and try out some cards. And especially if this weekend is kind of a time where a lot of people are looking to buy cards on the market. If there's any more panic selling, uh, those cards dropped a lot yesterday. So I want to take a look at those for a potential rise out of packs. And again, everything relating to Thursday content today. It might be a bit of a quieter Thursday today. Maybe. We've had, you know, yesterday was a pretty big day of content with a campaign bag and stuff. So we'll talk about that, of course. Uh, but I want to focus on this team of the season warm-up series that we might be learning about even today on Thursday. So if the videos on the channel are helping you out at all, make sure to hit thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. That would be greatly appreciated. Now, Today's a Thursday, right? And Wednesdays and Thursdays, but more so Thursdays are days where we learn about potential upcoming promos. Now, we don't have a loading screen right now, but like we mentioned in yesterday's video, with those pack codes that were added, right? The 85 times 5, 85 times 3, and then the league-specific 81 times 11 pack SBCs, it would be perfect for something just like this, which was released the week before Team of the Year, earlier on this year in the game cycle of FIFA 22. And I think we might see a loading screen just like this today that says team of the season warm-up series starts in one day, uh, 23 hours or, or whatever it's going to be, right? That we could see a loading screen today. That would give us some confirmation that EA Sports is going to do something like this if they are, right? This is, again, just speculative. We don't have any leaks. I'm just going based off of the pack code. That's legit, right? Pack code added to the game. Those are packs that we will see in this game, most likely. And since those were added earlier this week, it makes sense that they would come out pretty soon. So that's why I think we're headed towards a promo like this. Now, let's go down this rabbit hole for a bit. What would a team of the season warm-up series look like? Of course... You know, those packs that we had added, right? The 81 times 11, the 85 times 5, 85 times 3. It would be very similar to all of these packs that EA put out right before Team of the Year. That We were, of course, doing these SBCs to stock up on them. Because, you know, you're going to roll into Team of the Year with attackers and packs, midfielders, and defenders. And EA was basically just giving us SBCs to do to have, stack up on these packs and to hold these packs because everyone was stacking up on them anyway. Because who opens packs when there's nothing out? Uh, no special cards in the game at the moment. They all they all save for Team of the Year, right? We all save for Team of the Year, or in this um, season that we're in right now, we save for Team of the Season. So that's why I think we're just going to be headed into a week like this. But apart from that, there was a lot of great content that came out during this Team of the Year warm-up series. We had some big-time flashback SBCs. Alex Alexander Pato was released. Everybody remembers this card, right? The Pato card that was released, um, you know, a big time flashback that was very, very popular, 177K. And also we had flashback Icardi. Yes, a lot of you probably still have this card in your club. Flashback Icardi from earlier on, right before team of the year. Those are some pretty good value and very popular players released as flashbacks during um, the team of the year warm-up series. And then we also had a big time icon player pick pack it was the base or mid and it was repeatable uh at 700 and uh like 800 high 700s right around 800,000 coins to complete this so they did not just release you know a couple sbcs of packs to save up for team of the year during this warm-up series promo and i think if ea did one of those 
right this week before a team of the season, they would kind of do the same thing, right? Again, one thing that we had looked at and talked about was the potential of those end of an era cards. If I can scroll down on, on the leaks Twitter page here, again, we talked about this Dembele card that is added to come as an SBC. That is an official leak, right? We've had an Aguero and an Akinfeno. We, we've already had a Defoe, but it maybe seems like instead of the flashbacks like they did before team of the year, maybe EA Sports is going to be dropping us some end of an era SBCs in this next week. And also, again, if you're thinking about this, we have an Icon Moments pack that is out right now. I don't know if this is jumping the gun just a little bit, but would there be a potential of another Icon upgrade pack, a player pick being released? This is out for three more days. So it is out, of course, until this weekend. Would EA release an Icon Moments player pick or maybe it's like a prime or moments player pick we've already had the prime player pick multiple times but i do think that we could see a new icon upgrade pack before team of the season just again to drain coins for ea to drain a lot of coins off this market but i think even if they don't do that if they just do some player sbcs and release some of those those packs that we saw in the code right Again, let me look those up and show you guys because I know I've been mentioning them. And if you didn't watch yesterday's video, we talked about these a lot more. But these are the packs that I'm referencing. The 83 times 5, the league specific 81 times 11, and the 85 times 5 packs. But when, when these packs came out, like the 83 pluses before team of the year, this made fodder go bananas. I don't know if you guys remember this. Let's take a look at Guerrero, right? Fodder is already up right now. 4,000 coins, 5,000 coins for 84s. They are up. But take a look at this. These SBCs were released January, like the week of January uh, 15th. So like the 15th, 16th, 17th, look how high 84s went. They went from 3.4K, they doubled in price up to 5.5K. Then they went down when team of the season or team of the year actually started in January. I think that we're going to have another week. And if you guys have SBC fodder right now, especially the informs, I know a lot of you guys have invested on the informs. We've been saying list your cards for lazy buyers. I really think there's a lot of upside with holding on to your fodder. I don't see a lot of potential supply coming in this weekend if they do a promo like this, kind of like we're expecting. So that's kind of a rundown at the moment of what I maybe expect to see. And the reason why I'm talking about this today is I would not be surprised if we had a loading screen today on Thursday. The Before the warm-up series for team of the year, they dropped that loading screen on Thursday. I think that if they're going by the, the same cards, EA does like to be pretty repetitive with this sort of stuff. They would drop a loading screen today on Thursday. Now, again, it's not a guarantee. This is more speculative, but sometimes we can read EA and this would seem right up EA's alley if they were to do something like this. Now, one other shout that I just want to mention, and I don't think this is really, really possible. I don't think this is going to happen, but a lot of people have been saying, yo, Nate, where is foot player days? Another boost gets popping at 300k. I mean, if I lose coins on this, whatever. This guy's in the mini release. He's rare. I don't know how I'm getting these snipes. Anyways, um, where it, where is foot player days? We haven't seen it yet this year, and we've seen it a, the last couple of years in FIFA, and it always destroys the market. How are we ever going to see it? I mean, that's a potential thing that they could do this uh, this weekend as well. If EA wants to crash this market a lot more and really try to drain coins or just really try to, try to create some panic by people opening packs. What foot player days has been in the past is they basically put old out of pack special cards back into packs. And then they put either two for one packs or this year's game, they would probably do um, preview packs. They put those in the store and it basically makes a huge combination of panic selling because everybody goes out on the market and panic sells the crap out of the cards they have because they're back in packs. They're going to get new supply. And then all these packs are out and people are panicking. Oh my goodness, it's crazy, right? I don't. I would not expect foot player days. I would not expect it. I think that would be a lower potential happening than like a warm-up series. But could EA do both of those things together? They could. So my advice once again is just wait and see what EA talk about. Again, we if there is going to be foot player days or a team of the year warm-up series, we probably will see some leaks as well because just like a loading screen like that, the leakers, I believe, do get information about those sorts of graphics being sent out and uploaded and being ready to be put on the game. So um, I think that we would know a little bit ahead of time if that was going to be the case. So just kind of putting some things together. I don't think foot birthday or sorry, I don't think that foot player days is very, very likely. I think that a team of the year warm up series or some sort of pre tots promo is pretty likely they're going to have to fill this gap week with something and they're probably going to fill it with SBCs 
and maybe some objectives and probably some more coin drain content on this game. So that's just my opinion at the moment. We'll find out more probably today live on FIFA. So let's go back and talk a little bit about yesterday and talk about these foot captains cards once again. Of course, we looked at lightning rounds. I bought two Busquets now uh, at 300k flat. What was the content yesterday? Why did these cards drop down? Well, first of all, fodder is continually going up on the low tier. On the low tier, our fodder is going up. And I want to reference SBC fodder once again. I know your cards for your golds are up. I know 85s are like almost 9K. Your 86s really aren't up that much. They were 15. Now they're like 14 and a half. So down slightly. But your lower tier stuff, your 83s are up. Your 84s are up. And really, that was because of the campaign bag player pick that was released yesterday. Not only with foot captains team two players in it. But Team 1 and 2, Future Stars 1 and 2, Foot Birthday Team 1 and 2. So I did both of these. I packed Handanovic, and I also got Davinson Sanchez, which I was very happy about. Also one of the most popular cards to be packed. But so many people were doing this yesterday. Everybody was waiting for informs to rise up in price. But again, as we're talking about all this stuff with informs and with fodder, I'm, I'm, you know, usually we like to sell our fodder by the end of the week. But if EA is not putting anything out in packs, again, we're assuming that they're not. We don't know if they will or not. But if they don't do anything in packs this weekend for this uh, whatever promo is next, I would hold on to your fodder. I really would. Because I think if you take a look at most of all of these cards, that week before team of the year with that icon um, player pick that was released as well, look at Tony Cruz, right? Tony Cruz went from 26,000 coins, went all the way up to 29, which isn't a huge rise. Um, but during that week of warm-up series before team of the year, he was up a decent amount. So if you've got fodder, you might as well just hold on to it. I know a lot of people are kind of like selling at the moment. And as you can tell, some of these icon moments SBCs, like Vieira yesterday was 1.7. Now he's 1.6. It's the high tier fodder that is going down a bit. Lewandowski, 63K, right? Quag the Arella, 62,000 coins. Um, your Ericsson's going to get updated to a 93. By the way, fantasy foot upgrades are going to be happening today, right? So Ericsson, 65K. The next 93 is 74K and Messi. Could Ericsson go up a little bit today? Potentially. You're also going to have a lot of people that have invested that are waiting to sell. So if that card goes up, I would get it out right away. Take the coins on your investment. You're getting that full upgrade on Ericsson. But this high-rated fodder is dropping. The lower tier stuff is really where it's going up the most. Your 83s and your 84s. And if you have informs and all of this fodder, honestly, uh, just hold, right? And maybe with even some of these cards, we're looking at, okay, could we potentially buy if these cards are dropping down and if there's no supply this weekend, if we get a loading screen that there is a team of the year warm-up series or team of the season warm-up series like this today, but for tots and fodder is going even lower. Like if these 88s go to 23 or 24K and there's no supply this weekend, then we'll maybe be looking at a potential buy on fodder for some of that higher tier if they were to release another icon upgrade pack, which I think they would. And they're still releasing great icon player moments SBCs as well uh, with the Cantona release yesterday. This guy's like 1.4 to 1.5 on the market is SBCs 1.3. Not a terrible craft if you're going to do it pretty soon. Uh, of course, you'll be able to get it done a lot cheaper Um through player picks, through crafting and stuff like that. So it's just, it's W's all around for SBC content at the moment on this game. Now let's talk foot captains just a bit. I know I kind of got off track because we were focusing on uh, the SBC fodder there for a second, but I felt like that was worth talking about. Now with these cards right now, you're like Nate Lacazette was 440 yesterday and right now he's like 400,000 coins, 410. What, what should I be doing with this? Honestly, just be careful with these. I think if you take a look back at last week's team number one of foot captains, there were a few cards that rose up pretty nicely. Um, I think Tyrone Mings ended up doing pretty well out of packs. He's still like, I think 230, 240,000 coins. Uh, that is up. He was like two. He was like 200k when he was in packs, and now he's up to 240, 230. Yoris has maintained a pretty nice price. Um, Royce is down. You know, some of the cards are down like the Yetter and, and the Royce, but Cooper, some of the lower tier cards as a center back went up as well. So as I'm looking at this team, I know we've got rivals rewards today and we have marquee matchups. I think the combination of those two things will supply these cards on the market a bit more. Uh, could you see some of these cards rise up in this next week as a lot of people are going to look to this weekend as a time to buy teams? I think you could because I also feel like that these card prices are relative to the current market crash and the low prices across the whole entire market that we are in right now, right? Boost gets 
was 370,000 coins for the only Busquets special that we have and the best Busquets special item that we have like ever had in FIFA. Um, I still think that at the moment, this card, this card for being how hype he is, for being a brand new item, and for not having any specials uh, in this game, I think that he's still a little bit underpriced. Honestly, I think he's a little bit underpriced. I think that Henderson has value here. I think Lacazette, I know he's in team of the season. Uh, community voting is probably going to get a card. I'd be careful with that one. That'd be one that I'd be careful about. But even Payet, dude, like look at this Payet, 110,000 coins. Um, for a card that was selling consistently, I sold him at like uh, 180k on Monday morning, and he was like one. Pretty sure he was 140 yesterday, 141, 144. Dropped all the way down to 110. Is still currently about 110k. This is a card that a lot of people just want to try out um, because he's a French center attack in mid, and it's his first special of the year. So I think that if you want to invest in a few of these cards, today would be your day to do it. Watch around that marquee matchups time frame. Um, as you'll probably see a few of these cards go up in value then, or sorry, maybe go down in value then, but then up afterwards. But it also depends on the content that we see today on Thursday, uh, depends on the loading screen, if we get one of those, uh, and, and all those things, right? There's always a lot of factors with this stuff, but I think there is a bit of potential for a couple of these uh, to maybe go up in price. Let me take a look at Payette, again, as I was just looking at Busquets, but Payette for 110k, I mean, wow, man, if I see any of these at 100K, that just seems, that seems really, really crazy for me. The only Payet special, like besides an inform we have this year, really good card, four star, four star, great traits, just just a cheap, a budget friendly center attack in mid that a lot of people could use. French links are obviously, you know, very, very overpowered. So that's a card I would maybe be looking at. Again, invest at your own risk if you want to risk it a bit with those or if you want to buy one for your team. The, uh, the hero captain's cards, you know, they interest me. They they do, but uh, I think I need to see them go down more. Knowing that Robbie Keane is up like 75 to 100,000 coins from where he was. These guys are so rare. I love that part about them. I just don't love um, how much they're up already. Joe Cole was like uh, 600k flat, and right now he's 635, 618 right there at the moment. So just be careful with these cards. And uh, I do think that hero captains will do very well during team of the season. But I think that I just, I want to see a bit more panic this weekend in total on the market, just to see what, if there's a next promo coming out, what it looks like, if there's going to be a lot of coin drain and how that could impact the market. Now let's quickly talk about today on Thursday. What could we potentially see as well? Um, again, I think we're getting the Maldini icon moments SBC. We had Cantona yesterday. I know a lot of you guys are really hoping for Zidane. I don't know about Zidane. I, I don't know about Zidane. Um, some people are saying that it might be on Friday, but Mr. Sheriff says that uh, Cantona, of course, was yesterday. Maldini should be today. So that will be our Icon Moments player that we get today. Also on Thursday, early today, we'll see the last, and I'll hide my face cam once again for this. We'll see the last of the, or sorry, not the last, but we'll see the next Fantasy Foot Upgrades. Hinkapi is going to be maxed out with a plus three. Um, Perisic. Erickson, Lucas Mora, Usman Dembele, Klosterman. Those are all going to be plus threes. A couple of these other guys like Milo Chelsea, finally in the club, is going to get that plus two. Bamba is going to get a plus one. Simon with a plus one. Martial going to get another upgrade. Um, so whatever cards that you have in your club, just watch out for some more fantasy foot upgrades today. I really need my... Where's Alexandro? I need this guy Alexandro to get some upgrades, bro. We need a clean sheet and a win. Juve is not playing very well at the moment. I need this guy to upgrade. So uh, just be on the lookout for these upgrades today. They take place early in the mornings on Thursdays today per usual. And then other than that, again, I think it might be a bit of a quieter day. Could we have more lightning rounds today? I think that's also a potential piece of content. And then a lot of people are going to be focused on finishing SBCs, like some of those gamble packs that are going to be expiring tomorrow and Friday. You know, uh, we're going to have maybe, let, let's see, I'll hang on the video for one more minute, see if we have more lightning rounds late tonight. I just like checking up on that kind of stuff, honestly. Uh, but we have a lot of other SBCs that people might be finishing today. So watch your fodder. Uh, Andre Herrera, Tim Cahill, a lot of people might be crafting the the showdown, the the, uh, the campaign bags. Maybe people are doing more of the 86 plus doubles, maybe the 85 plus player pick, stuff like that. Maybe these icon moments upgrade pack still available here so it just uh it's it's a very interesting time for sbcs at the moment as well let me see if we had another set of lrs and we do 86 plus this got this has got to be the last one of the night this is a 4 a.m uk lightning round probably meant for us us late night folk 
that are still out here. Now, one thing I will say about the market right now is you can trade. You can absolutely trade. Get out there, get those flips, get those deals. Um, you know, I bought this Lucas Moore for 820, sold at 907. Bought this for 150, sold at 180, 235, 260. All these nannies bought at 265-ish uh, earlier yesterday. I didn't do a ton of trading yesterday, but making a few coins back that we can then send in a, a last minute batch of player picks, uh, maybe pack a foot captains before they do leave the game today. So watch out for that loading screen today. Watch out for leaks. And hopefully we get some information about what in the world will be tomorrow on Friday in between foot captains and team of the season. So if you enjoyed the video today, make sure to hit the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.